on guys back here with another pickups video and i'm super excited about it we got some tops and bottoms and some feats that are pretty crazy i've been sitting on these items for a little bit some i just picked up we're gonna get into the details the fit everything so let's stick around and let's get right into it to start off we got the effing awesome harry Ashley cardigan in the moss colorway um this actually came in two colorways uh i actually share you guys I picked this colorway, and it's pretty funny, but not really. Um, it's 100% nylon. Materials are super soft. It's that bright lime green. It actually has like a few shades of green on it. it kind of gives me Grinch vibes. But uh, yeah, super cozy, and actually in the same breath, very eccentric to like make a statement in your fit. Like you compare this with like a white tee some black slacks or some black pants and your fit is it you know what i'm saying um it has a pretty cool armor tag inside the quote inside actually says you invite things to happen you open the door you inhale and if you inhale the chaos you give the chaos the chaos gives back so right here i just styled the cardigan with just some army fatigue cargos i have really simple Really cozy, really chill. I have just a regular ripped up tee underneath. Nothing crazy. You can wear this cardigan buttoned up, as you can see right here. The material's pretty soft, as you can see. It feels like a towel, damn near. But it's very soft, very sh So right here I have the cardigan just opened up. Real relaxed look. Like I said again, you could pair this with jeans, slacks, anything for your comfort. I like to really pair this with like solid colors, really dark colors, just so the cardigan can make a statement for itself. Um, pretty roomy, like I said. Moving on, we have another cardigan for you guys. It's the Stussy Shaggy Cardigan in the Eggnet colorway. As I mentioned previously, I picked the effing awesome in the Moss colorway only because I bought this one before I bought the FM Moss. I didn't want two purple cardigans, it just didn't make any sense. Plus, I needed a little green in the wardrobe anyway. But uh, with this one, I was I was pretty satisfied with it. I actually wore it already uh, numerous times. Um, got a few compliments on it. Um, it's plush as well, pretty warm. But I have to say. This is not as plush as the F and Awesome one. The F and Awesome one is softer. It's just better material, I guess, because it's 100% nylon. This one is actually a blend of nylon and acrylic, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. But uh, still a good cop. But here's the caveat this one actually has a better fit than the F and Awesome one. You'll see why. Good fit. Good cop. So right here we have the Stussy cardigan. I have it opened up. Real relaxed look. I often don't wear this cardigan closed. I feel like it's a little bit more restricted to my liking. But like I said, I really like the fit on this. It sits on the sleeves well. Sits at the waist really well. Um, very soft. I just really like the, the fit of this compared to the effing awesome. Right here you can see soft material. Not really as soft compared to the effing awesome, but still really cozy, really clean. Right here we have the Eric Emanuel clay sweatpants in the yellow colorway. I picked these up at ericemanuel.com. If you guys are familiar with Eric Emanuel, you know stuff flying pretty fast. So once I got in there, got my size, and was out of there. These are 100 percent cotton. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with what clay is, it's just curled line of just yarn. Uh, nothing too crazy in there. Very warm fall breeze in the winter. Nice fall day. You can wear these with some nice low cut sneakers or high cut sneakers, whatever your style. So, these are actually my third pair of these blue clay sweatpants. I have a cream pair with the blue EE, then I have a black pair with the white EE. This yellow colorway, we have the green EE, and we have this slight small detail as you can see right here. We have a trademark right next to his signature EE. As opposed to last year's fall winter season, Eric Emanuel didn't have the trademark 
right next to the E. And it just shows the growing success that he has going into this year from the tank tops, the shorts from last year, going into this year, now the sweats, the caps. He's really growing and uh, it's just a testament to strong, independent, growing business. So with these boot clay sweats, they have a real relaxed feel to them. Um, very cozy, very flowy. I really like that. I'm not really into joggers recently. I really like the straight leg look. Um, the material is very soft, very wearable. Moving on. Moving on, we have the Denim Tears Levi's Red Clay Cotton Reef Jeans. Yeah, 501 Classic Straight Leg. Take these from DenimTears.com. And if you guys are familiar again, you know their stuff flies. This will be my second pair of Tremaine's work. Tremaine Emery, that is. Known for his work with Kanye and his own label, Make It Some Hit. If you're familiar with his work, you already know he's released a slew of colorways of the Levi's 501 Classic. And they all have the screen printed cotton reef on them. Now, there is a pair that he has chain stitched the cotton wreath on, and they're going for a pretty penny. So so I styled the Denim Tears jeans just with a regular tan canvas workwear jacket. The t-shirt underneath is thrashed. And on the feet, we got some black Dr. Martin derbies with some yellow stitching. I like how the jeans stack, but I think I'm gonna get them tailored just because they're a 34. I need to bring them up just to a 33. But good print. Last but not certainly least, we have the Yeezy. Adidas insulated boot. Pick these up from Yeezy Supply and I got through the queue surprisingly fast. The price at $320 and I think $340 after tax. So I think it's a pretty fair price considering their fall going into winter boots. And it's Yeezy. So right here I styled these with some camo tree pants tucked inside. For the future, with these boots, I'm gonna be wearing a lot of pants and jeans tucked into them because it just looks silly you trying to stretch your pants over these bulky ass boots. But the upper is comprised of padded canvas. The midsole is giving me foam runner vibes. I guess they took the frame of the foam runner and just used that. Um, and then we have like a rugged terrain outsole, great for snow and rain for those rainy days. But I don't know. I don't know if the canvas is actually waterproof, so I wouldn't actually wear these in rain. But you can style these with shorts as well. I'm probably gonna rock these with some Ricky shorts in the summer. Right here, this like a Velcro snapshot. As you can see, I got the pretty ugly PU socks. Shout out to my man Blanc. I'm gonna have the link below. Check out his stuff. So we're closing this video out with a special thanks to you guys for checking in. Hope you guys had a great time just hanging with me, just checking out a few of my pickups within the last month or two. Just going behind the styling and everything, details, pricing. So if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to give the boy a thumbs up. Also, if you want to check out some of my fit picks, check out my IG at S-A-B-B-O-N. But till next time, guys, peace.